Let's talk about an annoying bug on the patch 133 PTR for Warcraft 3. And I'm not quite sure how to suggest to Blizzard to fix this, but I am pretty sure that it's a bug. So first, I want to talk about what I have open in the world editor. This is a fairly simple map. Um, if you look at this, I don't know if this is a big enough font for you to see it, but this is the release client. This is the patch 132 world editor. And this is a basic empty map on Warcraft 3 Reforged except that I imported a custom asset that allows this blood mage to have blue orbs that orbit his head instead of yellow orbs. And let's test the map in-game. Let's see those blue orbs. This should be fairly simple and straightforward. Okay, great. So here on my test map, you can see, you see this something. blood mage has blue orbs orbiting him. This is a very simple, a fairly simple change, one would think, to basically take the orbs that are the blood mage and make those orbs blue. Now, if I tell him to attack something, you'll see his attack is also a blue orb. For So, these blue orbs are getting created with custom PKB emitters. These are uh, particle effects, essentially, that uh, are imported in the world editor as an imported file. And then I reference that imported file and say that is the projectile art of my blood mage, or in his ability, I say that is the target art that orbits his head from his sphere skill. That is fairly straightforward. Uh, what is not straightforward is that if I open this same map using the public test realm, you can see maybe the map will open in the editor, but if I try to play the map from the public test realm, things uh, things go wrong. We have a problem here. Let me, uh, let me make sure I get it on the screen for you. Uh, oh, and actually it's gone. So the game immediately crashes as soon as I try to play it. And you might be wondering, why is that? So let's let's do something else here. Let me let me try something else. If I go back to uh, this thing and launch the PTR editor. Uh, oh, actually, we still have the PTR editor open. Here you go. So let me let me talk about this. Let me talk about PTR editor and the PTR and what's going on. If I'm on the release client of Reforged and I go in the object editor and I actually preview this blue this blue energy effect, you can actually see it in the little preview preview screen right here. It'll display. It's a blue energy effect. Now, if I go on the, the uh, PTR client, and I actually go to the abilities section, and I go to that very same thing, and I just uh, double-click this target art right here to preview the blue energy effect, you'll see that as soon as I try to look at it, the PTR editor just totally explodes. And the reason for that is, as far as I can figure, if you look at these PKB files in a hex editor, here I have the exact same file uh, this Now I'm looking at a different file though, I'm not looking at the blue energy orb, I'm looking at the yellow one that's in the game. So I'm thinking, what does the game expect? And when I look at that, the, the yellow one that's in the release client and the yellow one that's in the new 133 client, uh, here in a hexadecimal hex editor, have a different version number as the first four bytes in the four byte integer that defines the, in, the, the version number of these particle effect files. So what that essentially tells us is that Warcraft 3 reforged patch 133 in this PTR, if this went live tomorrow, any custom reforged map that had gone to the extent of customizing their particle effects in the, in the HD re graphics mode for reforged is going to crash because support for the old particle effects appears to not be maintained, that they're just in all this new format. By doing that, Presumably, this is going to break any substantially complicated HD reforged map that has custom art on it. And so, if that is the direction that Blizzard takes in the 133 patch that comes out, that is going to exceedingly disincentivize those few people who are building HD mods for Warcraft 3. Because if they have colored particle effects, their map will just crash and they will have to update the map with new particle effects for every single custom particle effect. That is very inefficient and frustrating as a user and historically Reforged was nice about opening things made in previous versions so that you could continue to work on them as opposed to just exploding and exiting when you open something from a previous version that you created um, 
that, that was in some slightly different format. If we get to that future where the, the, the people trying to mod this game cannot open maps that they made previously or cannot view content that they made previously, um, then I think that it will reduce users' faith in that they would want to make things in the world editor, in the HD graphics mode. And in, in the old, in the old uh, 2002 graphics, you know, they call it the classic graphics, I guess, uh, the particle effects are in a different format, and that format is still supported. And so by, if, if we break HD support on Reforged and maintain that classic support, it's going to further incentivize that anybody customizing the game uh, will be incentivized to only customize the classic mode because things that they're making and things that they have made would continue to work. Whereas things that the HD uh, fans of the game who are fans of Reforged and who are trying to mod Reforged and create custom content in this HD style, if, if they lose the support, um, they're, they're going to be disincentivized from doing that. And so I just, I would encourage on this PTR that we try to maintain support for custom assets in this HD graphics mode. I think that that is, that is to the benefit of Reforged as a concept. And, and so for the, to the extent that Blizzard wants to support Reforged, I think um, it, it, it seems nice to the people who have sort of accepted Reforged in their workflow and tried to make Reforged content uh, to not sort of pull the rug out from under those people and make it that all their maps would just crash like this or no longer open simply because they changed the color of a particle effect. Um, whereas all, all the people who are making non-Reforged maps in, in the classic graphics who have a simpler particle system that doesn't have this problem, uh, if all their stuff is still supported and the Reforged stuff drops support, it just... I know, I'm reiterating myself, but you can see how I, I, this, this is something that's going to frustrate people. If patch 133 goes live with this, this is going to frustrate anybody who's doing custom content. Uh, and then if, if the, the answer for them is, well, you should have made classic graphics content, I, I, I don't think they're going to be happy about that. I think that that is, that is like anti-consumer. So um, yeah, I'm, just, I'm encouraging. Uh, I think somebody should fix this. Like I said, it seems to be a, a difference in version number, maybe the file format. Uh, that is getting used in the particle effects. And uh, in general, I think these particle effects are kind of hard to make and stuff, so I don't, I don't know that I would like just advocate that anybody's custom HD graphics map should, should just be, you know, they should just change the format to the new format. Because I think if they do that, then they're gonna have to do that in every patch. And the, meanwhile, the classic graphics people can play a map from 2005 or a map from 2010 because Reforge is previously backwards compatible. So there you go. It's just an interesting bug. Hope it gets fixed. Thanks, guys.